Well, one thing you should point out is that, like, we're on a concrete floor right now, and it's perfectly flat. Yeah. We're not working outside where the ground's all uneven. And so, by taking that module to start with that's already square, and taking it outside, we've actually done it before. We put up the ends and the inside truss element, and then left the two by above and two by below, and just brought the module out, set it in the wall, positioned it, screwed it in. Did another one, positioned it, screwed it in, and then filled in the void with the two by fours. Mm -hmm. um, that's as organic as it gets. Now, if you have a plan, you kind of know ahead of time what you want, and the guys are out there doing it, and you're not going to be there, so there's, you've marked on everything where everything goes. And that's kind of what we do. We mark it out, we fit the windows in, as far as we've got windows over there in the meantime being made. Now, there's a little thing there, and it's a little caveat. You could take a sash, just the wood around the glass, and calculate how big the window is going to be, if you use the right numbers. But you've got to factor in for the weights, the space they'll take, the jam around the sash, a little bit of space that each of these has between them. And then we put the trim on the outside, and all this is supposed to fit in the hole when we're done. If you don't do it right, you've got to take the whole thing apart and make the hole bigger or fill it in and make it smaller. Preferably fill it in and make it smaller. And this happens uh, more often than I dare like to say. So the thing about having these modules is that if all of a sudden you figure out, hey, we also changed the window, you got a 36 instead of a 34, and you go, well, we just framed up a 34. Uh, well, we just go in there, take the two screws out of the top, two screws out of the bottom, pull the whole freaking module out of there, and either slap in a new module or take the top and the bottom pieces out of this, swap them out, and use all the rest of the same pieces, the header we can change out, and be able to do it again. So the framing technique we use adds in several elements to these modules that you couldn't ordinarily do. Well, I mean, one thing, what, what I think you're, you're asking here is that uh, basically what we do is we take these modules, we lay them on our flat platform. This is kind of what he was saying. We're, we built them here on this nice flat surface. This is very similar to what a lot of people have garages in their house, you know, something uh, that a lot of people could, could work with. Uh, we're taking it onto a platform which we know is already level, and then we're assembling that into a wall. And the wall is only as wide as our platform. Um, in, in this case, we, we had one that was, it was taller, but, um, you know, things like the, uh, because of these prefab modules, things like our back wall, we literally carry those things out there, and I think we had the whole thing framed up within, we pre-cut the e extra studs, the fill-in studs, and uh, had the corners, and the, and the bottom plate, and the top plate, and I think the whole thing came together within like 10 or 15 minutes, which is, you know, pretty incredible. And uh, it's a really good way of kind of leveraging people that don't have a whole lot of skills, uh, but really we can, we can uh, take, those, take those people's efforts put them in a prefab unit, stick it in a wall module, and our wall module is done an incredibly fast, incredibly quick rate. 